from your local election headquarters. This is Big Country Politics on KTAB. And welcome back. We've shown you the aftermath of the Avaline tornado. We've told you the stories of the cleanup efforts. But right now, we want to take a different angle on Saturday's tornado. KTAB's Claire Kreitz returned to the tornado's target area to talk with the people who lived through the storm to find their stories. As the cleanup winds down and the dust begins to settle, we took the time to talk to those affected by Saturday morning's tornado. It was terrifying. It was terrifying. <laughs> It's something I don't ever want to have to happen again, I can tell you that. Each person with a different story to tell. That's when we heard that loud crash and came around and we found the holes in the ceiling. Ripped my awning off my house, my fence is gone, it just mangled our barbecue grill. But if you listen closely. We just stopped, we just stood still and heard that big crash. You find one thing in common. It's a good thing we stopped. That's what I was thinking. From a close call with a two by four coming through the roof. God evidently just, hey, be still, you know, stay where you are. Because that wood was going round and round over the house and it decided to come down. It had to come down somewhere. To the fire department showing up in just minutes. Everything was blown up to the front of the house and yep. they couldn't even get out of the house. To pry a family out of their home. Busted and this window out right here. Yeah. We had a table right there so we could step on the table and step over it. And a chimney falling one way versus another. You know, I'm glad it blew it this way instead of blowing it and making it fall inside of the house. These victims finding miracles in the midst of devastation. Unbelievable. I mean, we thank God that we're, we're still here. But for some... 30 minutes after it happened, this place was just full of people helping. To jump on it that quick and that many people. It goes to my heart. Man. Just a simple helping hand from a stranger. I am so proud of this town, and The way they jumped in here and helped everybody. Is their miracle. Way to go, Abilene. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on. Claire Kreitz, KTAB News. And that does it for Big Country Politics. I'm Travis Ruiz. Remember BigCountryHomepage.com for the latest. Thanks for joining us.